Aloha Stampers, welcome back to Stamp Class. This will be the last card that we will be making. It's a thanks card, and this card was made using the Vintage Leaves stamp set. This is a photopolymer set. So in, in your, your card, card pack, pack, you will receive this set of cardstock. It's crumb cake. You will receive three pieces. The card base, this is for your leaves, and this is for the brick wall. Using your square piece of crumb cake, we want to first use our embossing buddy to remove the static from our cardstock. And we need our stamp, and I mounted the three leaves from the Vintage Leaves stamp set onto one block. I used Versamark ink. We need a stamp and pierce mat. And then you want to stamp your leaves. Apply pressure to your stamp. And then lift off. So next we're going to add the embossing powder. We will be using gold. We sprinkle it on our leaves. Okay, we'll just make sure it goes. Next, we need our heat tool to heat the powder. Once you're done heating your leaves, you can see it changed from a dull color to a bright shiny gold. That's when you know it's done. So next, Leah is going to show you how to sponge the leaves. So starting with the lightest color, we're using Dapple Dill Delight. She's going to sponge the bottom of each leaf, but we'll show you just one leaf for now. So the next color she's going to use is Tangelo Twist. The last color we're going to use is Rich, Rich Razzleberry. Razzleberry. So Leah finished this earlier and this is what it's going to look like for each of the leaves. Now we will cut out our leaves. So you need the magnetic platform, one cutting pad, your cardstock, and Leah's putting on the framelits. And these are from the leaflets framelits dies. So line up all your framelits and you put your last cutting pad and you run it through the big shot. You just want to pop it out of your framelits and you get your leaves. The brick wall. Yes. The brick wall embossing. We need our Versamark, Versamark ink, pad. ink pad. We need a brayer. Then you want to like, you want to spread it on the, on the pop. And you want to just lightly brayer your embossing folder. The Versamark ink. You need the multi purpose platform with all tabs open, one cutting pad. You put your brick wall. 
the brick wall embossing folder with your cardstock in there, and the second cutting pad, and you run it through. So you'll see now you get the, the little mortar inside the bricks when you do the Versamark ink. Next we get our gold thread. You take nine inches and you fold it and you get another nine inches. You fold the end again and another nine inches. And you cut it. So you want three strands. So I have three strands. There you go, there's your bow. We want to put everything together. So get all your pieces and your leaves. You want to fold your cardstock in half at the score line. Line up your edges. Fold it with your book fold folder fold or folder. your finger. Need your glue or your tape runner. We're going to be using the liquid glue. So this is the gold foil paper. And you put your rich razzleberry piece. I layered the rich razzleberry piece on the gold sheet. And you glue the brick wall. Layer this piece onto your rich razzleberry piece. Finally, we layer the leaves and what you want to do is get your paper snips and you snip a little bit of the, the, lead, the stem off because if not, it'll go off the page. Put it at the left edge here. Your next leaf will go at an angle. And the smallest leaf will go at the bottom at an angle. And I added a little dab of glue. Put the bow on the bottom. And then I used the Celebrate. Using the fine tip glue pen. Adding some glue.
add it to your card and then trim off the edges and there you have it.